these in? Um, we can if we want to. Do you want to get one ready? Yeah, right. I mean, hi everybody. <laughs> um, yeah, which one should we use? The which uh, three quarter? Okay, all right. We're getting set up here, and mm -hmm. quickly, let me go over and say hi to all of our Instagram friends, so we can go live over there. I think we're live. Yeah. I think we're good. All is good. Hi, everybody. Hello. Hi. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Hello. We're hanging out with Maria McCool tonight. Um, April, as you know, is the anniversary of Just Jill. And three years we've been bringing you great That's products insane. that we found. Three years. And uh, all along, I can tell you, um, the goal was to be able to offer products from Maria because <laughs> if you've never met award-winning hairstylist Maria McCool. Uh, Maria and I have known each other for 30 years. She's one of the first people I met when I moved to Pennsylvania in my 20s. I remember and it. she was my, and still is, my hairstylist, hair cutter, style consultant, and one of my dearest friends. Um, so, and matchmaker. How, and matchmaker, yes, she did introduce me to my husband. So girls, listen to your hairdresser. <laughs> uh, but we're excited to have Maria here because we have some special sales that we're putting certain items on sale as part Part of the anniversary lots of people saying hi and in addition to that we want to take your questions what we found is that you all have loved when i'm able to spend time with some of these like you know beauty brands where you really get that sort of one-on-one -on -one attention on how to use the products is this right for me i've tried this am i using it right so we want to answer all of those questions of course mm -hmm. you can find all of the product configurations that we offer at justjillshop.com okay. If you haven't been to the shop this week, we launched our brand new look yesterday. So oh, we've been working like little um, dot com oh, elves. I want to peek. And so we have a go. whole new look at justjillshop.com. So go over. We hope it makes it easier to find products. We hope it features products in an easier way to shop. Mm -hmm. um, you know, beautiful photography. Hats off to my whole team who have been working so hard. We've been working on this for months to get this ready to That's launch. And so for our anniversary Isn't month, it exciting? we launched a brand new look to our website. Like we, I said, we're growing up, we're growing up. Um, <laughs> three so, years <laughs> um, hi Penny. She says, hi Jill and Maria. I hi, only Penny. use Maria's products, they're the best. Oh, thank you. Um, so check yeah. out justjillshop.com so you can see the new look. Scroll through, find things, you'll be able to find everything you need. There should be a link that you can copy and paste or click on. It'll take you directly to the Callista shop. Oh, cool. The configurations that we put together at Just Jill are usually unique to us. Mm -hmm, which I love. Because Marie and I kind of, you know, chat and work yes. together and say, all right, so if if somebody's using this on their wet hair, what do they need to put when their hair is dry? Yes. And we put the products together that yeah, way. The system? So that it's right there. Really, yeah. Right. Uh, if you've never met Maria, let me take a second here and introduce her beyond my good friend. Um, Maria uh, has been part of the Pennsylvania, Philadelphia area community mm -hmm. for beauty for over 30 years. Almost 35, right? Well, it's 35 just this year. 35 this year. A salon owner, but 40 year this year my st as a stylist. As a stylist, 40 years. Yeah, oh my gosh, that's crazy. So she years. was a teenager, seriously. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and her salon, Callista, um, is written up constantly in the Philadelphia area as best of Philly, best of Philly, best of Philly. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's ranked nationally. In addition to that, before Maria launched her own line of products, she was, you know, a consultant with other top hair care brands. Mm -hmm. And the whole mission behind the Callista Tools styling products and physical tools was to allow people to feel empowered at home mm -hmm. to do their own hair. Because haven't we all had that experience? You leave the salon and you're always like, why do I always so love my good. hair so much when I leave and I can never get it that way at home? And that's really how all of these things were born. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right? Exactly. Yeah. And it's true because it's, you know, you love, if you love the way your stylist does your hair, now granted, there's some people out there that love to do their hair themselves, but yeah, if you love the way your stylist do your hair, I always thought that it, you know, my clients would always ask me to teach them more and learn more and yeah. like, how do I do it and how do I do it? And I did start realizing that it wasn't them. A lot of times it was the tools that they were equipped with. Yes. You know, yeah. and the products and the tools that were made more for us stylists and kind of harder to deal with. 
for somebody who's not a stylist. Yeah. A stylist. Right. Right. Yeah. So it's, that's one of the things a little bit differently. I learned that through Maria. I mean, granted, I, you know, we've known each other for a long time and her hands have been in my hair more than anybody <laughs> on the planet. Um, but I really learned that styling products make a difference and using the really understanding your hair and what your hair is and is not capable of. Mm -hmm. There would be times I would bring pictures of like a celebrity or somebody. I'd be like, I want my hair to look like this. And she would look at me and be like, Jill, I could never cut your hair like that. This person's hair is fine, thin. They can get away with that. You have mass. Mm -hmm. There's no way I can get that look on heavy hair like yours. Exactly. Oh, that's a big aha, right? Mm -hmm, I'm mm -hmm. sure many of you've done that, right? Like All you time, remember right? when everybody wanted their hair to be like, you know, okay, I'm totally dating myself. Dorothy Hamill or Princess Diana or these mm -hmm. different, and the, and the Rachel, like right? Aniston, you know, the Jennifer yeah. Aniston. And All guess what? It doesn't work for everybody, right. right? But sometimes you can get your hair close or have it do the things you like about those cuts right. if you have the right products. Without a doubt. Yeah. Without a doubt. And that's, you know, from the shampoo... All the way to the hairspray. Yes. I mean, really, the way we do the products is a system that way because it is from the shampoo through the products through the tool that you need to use yeah. to the hairspray, you know, or whatever, like soup to nuts. Yes. Is important. And if every you, step matters. Every step matters. And I think what sometimes maybe you might not realize is that it sounds like a lot, like even with skincare. I remember the one time my husband. Um, and even one of my girlfriends, she's like, how many things are you using on your face? I'm like, well, you cleanse. Yeah. I usually tone. Mm -hmm. I'll do some serum. Mm -hmm. I use my eye cream. I yeah. use my, my, and I use my cream. Like, she's like, you're putting five things on your face. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, right. do you? Like, yeah. Don't you? Like, yeah. And it sounds like a lot for the hair too, but it is like our shampoo or conditioner. Yes. A styling product is really, really, really important. We're going to use a tool. A dry styling product is really, really important, right? Yes. And then locking it Gotta in. Got to lock it in. Yeah. 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 So, so we're going to answer that today. all yeah. your questions, um, anything yes, that you yes, have. Yes. But I'm really excited because we have some new things in the collection. And one of them is my Holy Grail Callista product. <laughs> it is. Uh, and it was off the shelf for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. A couple of years I have gone without this product, but it is well, now. Well, I was squeaking you some. Yeah, this is I true. a little yeah, bit yeah. of the very last. <laughs> it's good, to, it's good to have contacts <laughs> in the right places. But now it's really back as part yes. of the Callista line. So we're going to talk about that. I do want to call out, since you mentioned, and we'll get to that. That's the embellished styling cream mm -hmm. coming That's up, all right? Um, and it's for wet hair. And we'll talk about why I love it. For the first time ever at Just Jill, we're going to offer the Vitality Spray. I will talk about with Maria because I know that's one of her Holy Grail products. Um, but you mentioned shampoo conditioner. Mm -hmm. I can tell you since we started carrying juice, shampoo, and conditioner at Just Jill, it's one of our top selling products year over year. So think about all the mm. products we sell at Just Jill. I didn't know that. And if I rank top 10, juice is in our top 10 in terms of yeah, number of orders that, taken so. for product, okay? That's how good it is. But I think it's important for you to explain, and we offer it a shampoo and conditioner, mm -hmm. and then a lot of you ask, could you just offer two shampoos? Like, oh, that's what I really yeah, love to use. Or, you know, I want I one and my daughter wants one in her bathroom, mm -hmm. fine. Yeah. So we do that too. Right now they're on sale, $69 for both. That includes your shipping and handling. Oh and because goodness. we include shipping and handling with that, we're the best price anywhere. So better than if you I bought know. it from Callista like <laughs> and other big television retailers where products are sold. Um, <laughs> we have a really, really nice offer for you. So now's the time to get it. Now's a great time spring, like renewal. Yes. You might be getting a new haircut. You might be adjusting your highlights, your color. But none of that is going to give you the best results unless you start with the right cleanse and condition. Mm -hmm. So take it away. Well, How is this not just another shampoo conditioner duo? It so is not. And I've been doing hair for 40 years. And this is the first shampoo and conditioner that I ever, you know, that I created. Brought. Yeah, yeah, because there's great shampoos and conditioners out there. Professional mm -hmm. shampoos right. and conditioners are wonderful. And I use them and always use them in the salon. Yeah. But what I started to realize is that all of the shampoos and conditioners that were available to me at the salon were treating symptoms all the time, never the cause, never the problem. So in other words, you could get a shampoo for your color treated hair. You could get a shampoo for your damaged hair. You could get a shampoo for your fine hair, your curly hair, on and on and on, smoothing your hair. Nobody was talking about the scalp. 
forever. Mm. Yeah. And I being, a, you know, the companies I worked with, right. Nevada, different companies that I worked with in the past, the scalp was always at it. And we always did a scalp treatment, right? When yes. Came to oh, Calista, yes. The first you thing get, we it was did. Like a, like a oil you and oils, then you get a massage. The scalp, and yes. Mm -hmm. it yeah. Because we know we get the best hair when the scalp, just like when you get your cleaning for your teeth, mm -hmm. right? Like you're cleaning your teeth every day, but when they clean your teeth, they yes. are cleaning all of it, right? So when you use juice, it's first of all, it's naturally derived ingredients, right? So, and then there's palmetto, red clover, willow herb, and you exfoliate 80% of the dead surface skin cells on your scalp immediately. Wow. So when your hair's trying to grow through that pore, a lot of times our pore is kind of clogged and shrinking. And mm -hmm. when we open it up with the bloomingness of juice, it clears that out. Now your hair's not pushing through. So your hair is growing through beautifully. Mm -hmm. It's not being squeezed. That's sometimes how our, that is how our hair thins out. Mm. It's because, you know, as we get older and it gets parched our scalp and we're not really treating it, it's not hydrated and moisturizes the, when the hair's trying to come through, it's kind of being pressured. Yeah. And so we're not growing our best hair. Right. That's really what it yeah. is. So this well, probably is, slows down the growth too, right? 100%. It's harder for it to 100. grow it's not gonna out, through. right? Because it's mm -hmm. it's being, you know, restricted, right? Right. Um, and another way I like to say it when I talk to my clients is like, you get a beautiful plant or you're growing your tomato plants and you water it, which is great. And it makes it grow. But then when you put miracle Grow on it or, <laughs> right? Yeah, right. Then fertilizer or something. This big, yes. Like, that's what we're doing with juice because yeah. we're not just treating the well, hair, nutrients. Like water, exactly. Nutrients that we're getting into the bulb, which is where the hair is growing from. Yeah. So it's not like any shampoo or conditioner you've ever used before, right? Right. You, it's very different. When you, and you only need one pump. I'm going to show it to you. When you're in the shower, you wet your hair, you do one pump like that. I don't even use a full pump because my hair is pretty short. Do you use mm -hmm. a full pump? Mm. Not quite, right? Yeah, pro like probably halfway, maybe. Yeah, because exactly. yeah. it's very concentrated. Mm -hmm. So you don't, it's not like other shampoos where you're like, no. right? You need a big mound of it no. to get the lather going. Um, this, again, it's very concentrated. This fresh honey mint mm. fragrance, which again is so invigorating. invigorating. Yeah. It's like a spa experience. Like the smell is like a spa experience. And you will, first time you use it, like you will feel an invigoration to your scalp. Yes. Right? You, yes. you feel that minty, like where it's like waking up the scalp. Mm -hmm. It, it so will have a, it does smell good. Mm -hmm. yes. it, it'll have a pillow pluff lather. There's no sulfates, no parabens, nothing. None of the bad stuff. Good in there. for color treated hair. Amazing. For Good if treated. somebody has fine hair, oh. thinning hair, gray hair, like everybody, oh. right? If yeah. you want your hair to stay or look more youthful after one shampoo and condition, like you're going to see it immediately. It'll be different. But this bottle is going to last you. I mean, I shampoo every day and the bottle lasts me. I'm going to say four months, mm -hmm. three to four months. Yeah. So, I mean, if you don't, that's a lot. So if you I have, shampoo yeah, every day, if you have, do you shampoo every day? Um, I'm going to get this for my hand. I would say probably five days a week. Okay. There are some days where I'm like, ah, oh, my hair looks good enough and I'm just sticking around the house. Why right. wash it? Right. right. Oh, Donna wants to know, is it good for oily hair? It is amazing. Like so many of my clients and my daughter included that has oily hair when they juice, they're like, I can get away so much more than normal. Yes. Like my hair and my hair is oily and my hair will be oily by the end of the day. Just at the scalp. Not, yeah. I don't, mm -hmm. It doesn't now. Yeah. Older now, so it doesn't all get oily. Um, but when I, I don't have that so much when I. Yeah. Because when you ask that, it's Donna was asking yes, about that. Donna, so yes, Donna. Donna, the difference is because of the scalp exfoliation. So the oil, like once we start balancing out that scalp, then the oil doesn't produce like that in the course of the day. So it's not the only, same as like skincare, everybody, like right? Skincare. Like, isn't this? It's haven't you heard all this before yeah. with skincare? And I think what makes you know, Maria's approach here so unique is she's realizing, guess what? Underneath all that hair is skin, your scalp. Mm -hmm. It and needs, nobody's been it paying needs attention. your hair. Yeah. needs to be clean and, you know, washed of the, the buildup and mm -hmm. all those things too. But mm -hmm. in order to keep the hair healthy mm -hmm. and it's shiny best. and it's best, 
you got to start it where it grows. Right. And that's the scalp and that bulb and being able to exfoliate and get those nutrients mm -hmm. in there so that over time you're like, my hair's never been so good. And I'm loving reading and your com am, yeah. the compliments or uh, for the product. And I will also say this is customer top rated at Just Jill. So, oh, I mean, great. people love it. People and love let it. me say one more thing about that oily hair, just in case there's some other people like Donna yes. and me. So my clients that have very oily hair, I have taught them to double shampoo. So they find that if they do one lather up, rinse it out, and another lather up, and you don't have to use the whole pump, just use a little bit because you're doing it twice, then they, I have had so many people tell me, like, Maria, as soon as you taught me about the double shampoo, I I don't get oily anymore yeah. like I was. <laughs> I can remember one time you were doing my hair here, and you washed my hair, and you said, you know what, Jill, this isn't lathering up much. I'm going to wash you again. Why? What? What's yeah. happening there? And what should people be looking for yeah. if they're like, oh, should I be double shampooing? So, so what's what's the story? So when you put it in your hair wet, it's going to give you this really nice pillow puff lather. If you're not getting that pillow puff lather, it's because there's so much oil or buildup or dirt in your hair that it's not able to emulsify on each other. On the product, it emulsifies on each other, mm. right? So it hasn't broken down that oil yet or broken down that product yet. So generally, if I have a client in the bowl and I don't get a lather, I go in the second time and then I get my pillow puff lather. Now I know it's completely, scalp is clean and clear, hair is clean and clear. I've got a fresh start. When you go to the condition, condition step, yeah. again, it also is, I'm gonna show you a half a pump, cause that's like kind of a half of a pump. On me, that's I need like out. a quarter. Yeah, we don't need a lot. <coughs> but Excuse me. this is different than conditioner. I call it condition for a reason. This is different. Conditioners have a base of um, their cream base really is more. They put like panthenols and things in it that kind of make the hair look good. Uh -huh. This is volumizing. This is, again, salt palmetto, red clover. This is more of a moisturizer than a cream conditioner. Got it. So you, if you don't want to use a lot, that's fine. But I always want you to use some go right to the scalp with it. Yeah. It doesn't work like conditioners where it's going to lay on there and make it heavy. I like to use my smoothie brush in the shower, brush it through. I'll clean the rest of my body and then I'll rinse that off. But I suggest that you don't skip that step. Even for those of you who are like, I don't use conditioner. You know, I'd <coughs> love for you to try this one because I feel that you will you will see that it won't make your hair heavy and it won't. And what it'll do over time is just thicken and make the hair get stronger. Cause that's this whole thing about this is like, it's also, <coughs> can I give you something? I'm going to step off. Okay. I got something in my throat. I'm oh. going to let her take over for I one second. I had, um, I'm going to get some hot water. Somewhere. Okay. I'll you be, know where everything is? Yeah. I'll be right back. Um, this happened two weeks ago. <laughs> I'm going to be watching her cause I want to make sure <laughs> Miss Jill's okay. But you know, as we were just talking about the condition step, I'll keep going on. Does that sound good, Jill? Or? Yeah, go for it. Okay. Cool. Um, but the, you know, yes, if you feel like you just want to treat the ends sometimes, but at least <coughs> once a week, you want to go in right to the scalp. Because remember, it's like cleanse, exfoliation, and moisturize. Like this is really is skincare for the hair. And over time, um, I, 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 I know Jill says it too, that I don't brag enough on stuff, but like when you, and I, I'm seeing it in some of the things that you're saying, um, it really is transformational. When you start using it, you immediately see it. And my clients that have been doing it for a year and now two years and three years, including myself, like my hair is, as you could see, my hair is baby fine. It's the exact opposite of Jill's, but you know, I wouldn't be able to keep this on my head like this because fine hair likes to break and I color treat it and I'm using heat styling tools on it all the time. So this is my magic formula, especially with my aging hair, to make sure that I'm not getting breakage. This does prevent breakage. This does um, protect the hair from your heat. This does strengthen the hair, shine the hair, um, all the good things, but it's because it's starting with the scalp. I'm going to see what some of them. Um, I really hope that you feel much better soon, Jill. She's coming. <laughs> I'm back. She just, I think, went down the wrong pipe. Your water? You know what? I've had, um, I've been having these tickles in my throat. And I was on QVC earlier today. 
Uh And sometimes it just like gets there, you know? So I'm drinking hot water. I'm fine. I feel fine. I'm fine. It's just, and I think the spring allergies too are hitting everybody as well. It's all good. Okay. I love that. Actually gave some to my sister who has chemo regrowth, fine hair. She's loving it. Thanks, Maria. Awesome. Yeah. I mean, I don't like to to make any claims or anything like that. Sure. Of course. Obviously I have a lot of clients that, you know, have to, you know, unfortunately we work with shine and cancer patients and yep. all of my chemo clients because I need their scalp, you know, like this is about making sure yeah. they can regrow their hair and regrow it at a fast pace and at a, you know, good hair. Yeah. Strong, right. Strong and whatnot. So great duo. Go. Um, Adrian says this works great on my gray hair. Love that. I know. Um, it's so really sh- soft and strong. We were out of it for a couple of months. A lot of you were like, when is it coming back in stock? So, so um, they sell through it quickly. Um, we have it, we have it at a great price. Remember shipping and handling is included. These are 32 ounce bottles. That's so you get lot. the shampoo and the conditioner or you can buy two of just the shampoo um, if you wanna stock up. Um, You can buy them as singles, but the value is in the duo. I will Mm -hmm. tell you that. Mm -hmm. Um, So check those out. That's how you start your your routine. I love that you, so you sell two shampoos for 69. We do. That's amazing. Because I will tell you, if you're like me, I I double shampoo, I do go through my shampoo. More quickly. Yeah, Mm -hmm. so that would be cool to get like, I would get it one of each set. And yeah, three so you have them. and one. Yeah. yeah, and if there's multiple people using it in the house, like my daughter Kylie, yeah. this is all she uses. So when she was living at home, I had to have two, right? Yes. Now she's on her own and working, <laughs> and she can buy her own shampoo. <laughs> um, and this is all what she ch- buys. Like that's the perk of the Just Jill family <laughs> discount, <laughs> is she gets it at a good price. All right, I'm going to move we're those aside. On. All right. Um, now we're going to talk about. My holy no, grail. Oh, next. do you want to talk about that next? Only because it goes on. Okay, next. fine. Let's do that. Should we do it? In yes. Order? Yes. You're the boss. Okay. All right. So, um, Vitality Spray oh. is one of those products that I've heard Maria talk about forever. And then she did a video on social media and I texted her and I'm like, wait a minute, shouldn't we <laughs> yeah, be that. carrying Vitality Spray at Just Jill? And she was like, yes. So we've actually put the Vitality Spray in three different configurations oh, like over at Just Jill Shop. Shipping and handling included with all of them. It's one of the only times I feel like we should do a duo of the same product. I did it with the shampoo because you all asked for it. You you weren't going through the conditioner as quickly as the shampoo. You just wanted to suck up on shampoo, fine. Most of our beauty products, we do custom collections because you use these products together. This is the one time where I was like, we should just do a set of the two Vitality sprays because people are going to want to use this and they're going to go through it and you're going to use it. And every you're going to stick it in other bags. Like I have it, you know yes. what I mean? Like especially summertime. Yeah. It's in my beach bag. So it lives there. Two Vitality sprays or a Vitality spray and the smoothie brush. Really? Okay. That's, that's an offer. Do? That's one of our oh. offers. Or. Vitality Spray, Maria's Holy Grail. And my other Holy Grail. And okay. Embellished Styling Cream, my Holy Grail. So that's kind of like the Jill and Maria friendship duo. All okay. right, but let's talk about what okay. this is. What is a Vitality Spray? Who needs it? And why do I want it? Okay, every single solitary person in the universe needs it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> but it does go on every single solitary client's in my hair. Every single time, time I do your hair. This is your daily vitamin for your hair. This is your heat protective for up to 450 degrees. Wow. This is your detangler. This is um, that product that really is going to bring the youth, the shine back into your hair. Mm -hmm. You're putting it on. I like to put it on your hair wet, but I do put it on the days that I don't. If I weren't to shampoo, I would just spray it on my hair all over my hair. It's like a super fine mist. So I'll tell you what makes it different. For years and years, I would ask my clients to like, it smells so good too. Doesn't it? It does. To like, please use a heat protectant or please you, you know, or, but the problem is, is they are all either oil or cream based. So they didn't like the heaviness or the weight or how it would collapse their style. Mm-hmm. So I worked a long time with the same naturally derived ingredients, but in this watery base. So as you saw, I sprayed it all over my hair. Now it's evaporated in. Like you can't, if you feel my hair, it's not wet, right? No. You saw how much I just sprayed on it, right? Yeah. So now I'm ready to style. 
Mm. So if I will, so come, am I doing it on wet hair? I do it every time I get hair. out of the chair. I do it all wet over hair. my wet hair. Okay. And I use my smoothie brush right after it. It goes through like, you know, that I'm not breaking any hair. I'm not stretching any hair. I'm not, you know, snagging my hair for split ends or anything like that. Yeah. But on second day, you could put it on dry hair. Yeah. Like, cause I literally, like a refresh. it's my daily vitamin. So I put it on every single solitary day, whether yeah. my hair is wet or dry. If you're putting it on dry hair, what you will need to do is in the morning, you want to brush out because if you have hairspray already in there and stuff, mm -hmm. it's going to block it. So kind of I brush through. Sometimes I'll even take a blow dryer and brush through to get make sure hairspray is out. Mm -hmm. And then I'll do the same thing again. I can spray. Here's I just want to make sure you realize like it's not heavy. No, it's not at There's all. No heaviness to it. All it is is such good for you. And my especially my blonde girls who were like. They can't get enough blonde. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and right? sometimes I have one of my blondes who says, well, Maria, because I'm like, I don't know. It's a little sensitive around the fish. It's like, if it's, if it's not breaking, it's not blonde enough. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh, my gosh. That's what she says. So, but I get them hooked on Vitality Spray because now I'm protecting it from breakage. 80% less breakage when That's you're using great. it. Like, um, so it's one of those just daily bite and get used to it using it every day and then really like you will notice immediately like for my hair do sh shampoo conditioner and then using this i have a lot of frizz but it's really combated my frizz and i have so much less frizz in general huh. now that i've been juicing for a couple of years yeah um which is so nice because you could see this is my curl and my hair dries by itself it's usually fuzzy but it's not no yeah 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 so so vitality spray you're going to use after you've you know juiced You've done your cleanse. You've done your condition. You're out of the um, shower. You're out of the shower. Do I towel dry my hair yeah, first? Okay, I like towel dry your hair, hair, then spray, spray on the over. Vitality spray. Um, maybe get the duo that has the brush I with know. it so that you can then brush that all the way through. Mm -hmm. And then you can blow dry your hair and go on to your next steps. Or if you want to add a styling product to your wet hair, which is what I prefer to do. Mm -hmm. um, I don't particularly love putting styling products on my dry hair. I just no. don't, unless right. it's embellished. Yeah, you like know? a dry styling yeah, product. But, um, wet styling but, product. but I, I really like to put something. In fact, I have to put something on my hair um, because my hair, if I don't put anything in it, it becomes too soft. Yeah, right. It's too silky. No, it won't do anything. And with all my layers and everything, I, I, I need to break it up, mm -hmm. right? So Vitality Spray, huge, everybody. Like, like that, if you are already juicing, you should get the Vitality yeah. Spray in the smoothie brush. And can brush. I just talk about the smoothie brush for two seconds? Yes. Because this is, do you notice the flexibility? Yeah. So it's flexible. Because everybody asks me, like, why is this brush so good? Why am I so obsessed? This flexibility. Look at that. The fact that the there's the right, right amount of rows. There's about a hundred bristles on here, top quality. The little round tips that keep the hair from breaking do not pop off. They're part oh, of that nice. bristle, right? Yeah. Because they usually you lose them, right? Um, and so it makes it the best detangler on earth, but it makes it the best volumizing styling. Can I use you or should yeah, I go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Because what happens is even on Jill Short hair, look how I can. See the tension I can get because of the flexibility. Mm -hmm. So I can, when we're blow drying, if I want lift, see how I can just, I can lift, 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 keep lifting. Like that's, that's how you get volume because I can get in there. And then if I was blow drying, I'd be lifting all of that up, but the brush is doing it for me. Yeah. Right. So the brush is doing that and lifting it. And then I have that volume. We all know, like, once you have the volume in there, then you can piece it or do what you want. Yep. You know, and have lift even for my hair. Let's use the mirror. But look, my hair's longer. Look at Yeah. And and so I you don't can I can get in here. I can right. get here. I can get yep. into all the spots, right? Look, if you so have calyx, good. like so that's good. how you pull it up and you know, kind of blend away that yes, calyx, right. right? Exactly. Like in the morning, I get right there where my calyx is and I just blow right in there to get rid of it. Mm -hmm. So it's really, it's it's really one of those brushes that come along that yes I know it has cold following and it's kind of like the shampoo but the reason being is it's really designed specifically for volumizing for detangling neither of us have wet hair right now but so when you're volumizing you go from the root out yes when you're volumizing you get in the root when you're detangling when your hair is wet you start from the ends up oh good tip so you just brush good tip. to go up yeah right especially for those of you who have you know 
younger kids, you know, your grandkids, you know, you're trying to comb out their hair. Don't start at the top if it's tangled. Start at the bottom and work your way exactly. out. Yeah. And this will go, these two, if you have young girls that are tangling, I'm literally promising you spray this. You'll be like, what just happened? Like mm. goes right through. And nice. the thing that's interesting, like I just grabbed this from over there because I was like, oh, well, we'll talk about it. Like the only hair that's ever in it is, I mean, we lose hairs every day, like a hundred mm -hmm. hairs a day, you know, are those hairs. It's not, I see so many people's brushes that just are like, oh, covered hair. Yeah. And it's because those, unfortunately, without the flexibility, it is breaking some of the hair. Mm. Yeah. So you got the hair that's falling out plus the hair that's breaking. But in this case, you're not doing that. You're, you're not never ripping, it. tearing, or breaking anything. So what I would say maybe okay. is if you don't have the smoothie brush yet, buy the smoothie vitality spray combo. Gotcha. And then when you need more vitality spray, come back for the vitality spray duo. Because the price is so good. Right? Because that's that's how I but would now think about doing it. Even better okay? thing. But yeah, this so maybe you already have the smoothie brush because we've offered that with the bounce cream. Maybe you oh, already have that. Good. Okay. So, but you really want to try this and you're really, really, oh, um, somebody said I bought the Vitality Spray for my sister and I love it. Great. Oh, um, so now oh, let's talk about what I've grail. been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for this product to come back into the Callista line. So full transparency for years this product was known as Achieve 10. Mm -hmm. So if you used or ever used Achieve 10 from Callista and then thought, I've got to find something else because they're not making it anymore, it was an ingredient issue, right? Mm -hmm. Like supply chain, right? So the team at Callista has been working to try to replicate Achieve 10. And Maria would send me little bottles and be like, try this. Mm -hmm. What do you think? What do you th And I'd be like, oh, the viscosity is not quite right. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know about this. I don't know. But finally, you know, it's back. And really, it probably should have been part of the embellish yeah, because it's a volume line all mm -hmm. along. But while it's a volumizer, it does a lot of other things. Mm -hmm. And why I loved it, and I'll, I'll show you in my hand like what the, the formula looks like. Okay, so it's kind of this white, super light, like mm -hmm. almost like a serum, just a little bit heavier maybe than what a serum would be. Oh, it smells so good. Um, but here's why I love it. It's amazing. As I said before, with my hair. I have to have something on my wet hair when I blow it dry. If I don't, my I have gobs of hair, but each strand is very fine. So if there's nothing in there to help break up the right. fineness of those silky strands, I could blow dry my hair and you'd never see all the texture, which is mm -hmm. what I love about my haircut, right? I don't want something sticky. Mm -mm. I don't want things that are oily. That's what I would always find is like stuff is oily, right? Or like, yeah, like it's kind of like it will do it. And then a half an hour, you're like, why is it yes, collapse? It's collapsed. It's too heavy. It's too heavy. Yeah. So when I started using the embellished cream, um, and look, you can just put it on your skin. Right. It's so nice. Um, and you can, and, oh, so and, you can go I in. Mean, you can you go really should use it on too. wet hair, but I have the extra. So I'm just putting it in. And you can also, though, second day, like, Refresh did you ever, it. like, on the day that you say, well, yeah, it's pretty Well, good. I would do it, like, because sometimes the, these pieces get a little frizzy on me. Yeah. So right. if my hair is dry, I can do it. But I put this on my hair. I blow dry my hair. It gives me a little lift if you're, my hair's heavy. So, it, it, you know, I'm never going to get big poof. And I don't want that yeah, either, you know, right? Like, I don't, mm -hmm. some of you have fine hair and you want more. I have the more. I don't want bigger but I want a little bit of openness, mm -hmm. like airiness, breaking it up a little bit. And that's what the Achieve 10, Achieve 10 which is now yeah. the embellished cream, that did for me. This is also something when Kylie was younger before Vitality Spray was here, that's I used as a detangler, detangler yeah. right? It's, it's a kind of a little bit of a leave-in conditioner in a way, because it, it also hydrates your hair it has really, UV really protection. nicely. It has a humidity blocker in it. Like so it helps really, with frizz, it helps with right? Frizz. I mean, look how just putting that in my hair a little bit. And you don't need a lot, remember? No. With professional products, like that's what I've been showing Dime you Dime size. With. Yeah, you don't yeah. need a lot. You don't need a lot of the shampoo. You don't need a lot of the conditioner. But when you do shampoo, conditioner, I use this because I want to keep my hair gray. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And then that's treatment, product. right? Think yeah. of the Vitality Spray as like treatment, mm -hmm. right? Why you take a daily vitamin, that's, that's like the daily vitamin right. for your hair, right? But now we're getting into more Style. styling things. Mm -hmm. And that's where the styling right. cream comes in. Because as our hair gets better and better, like my clients that have been juicing and using Vitality Spray, similar to my hair, their hair is just so stronger and healthier right now that 
they're getting way more style, mm -hmm. you know, and, and their hair is just thickening up and looking, you know, like good on its own. And then they put this in because yes. your hair too is healthy and looks good. And yes. then you put this in and it defines it, mm -hmm. you know, and it really, yes. um, and it's not when it dries, you know, unlike a done. gel, yep. remember the gels you used, remember the dippity do gels, <laughs> right? You'd put in your hair and what happens when it dries crunchy. Yeah hard, hard right stiff, so this sticky. i love the embellishing yeah. cream because it keeps my hair soft when my hair is wet how i use it i run it all through my hair and then i basically with my hair wet i pull my hair into the style. style that i like so that way i make sure that that product is getting all the way through my hair and then from there i blow it dry you know and mm -hmm. my hair kind of already has, has the shape, shape. Right. And it's good to go. So and, and for I have the exact opposite hair, right? Yeah. So I have Jill's hair is very straight and mm -hmm. thick. Yes. And my hair is very, very fine and it has curl. So we have very opposite yes. things. But I this is my go-to styling product too. I love my other styling products, but for the most part, I'm usually going for something a little bit in day to day. Maybe yes. not when I go on air, but like day to day. I'm going for a little bit more natural. I want to be able to touch it. I want it to move. Like, yeah. And so this is my styling product. And again, at the beach, like we were talking about, because it has the sunblock and the mm -hmm. humidity blocker and all that in it, those of you with gorgeous white hair, like Phyllis, my client, with, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, my mom, those, your mom. Yeah. When you use this and you go out gardening, like, you know, not that you shouldn't be wearing a hat or anything like that, but it does help protect from that yellowing because that sun really mm -hmm. does yellow the white hair. You want some protection on there. This is your protection on there. How about this product for guys? Oh my gosh. Like, it's the product for guys. Mm -hmm. I don't know. If, did, did did Doug ever try it? Um, Doug or refuses to use any type okay. of okay. Um, personal Absolutely. grooming product that are like skincare or hair care. Okay. Trevor, on the other hand, will try everything and has everything across the, the bathroom. <laughs> I love that. And now that Kylie's, you know, living on her own and he has the bathroom to himself. Yeah. It's like a second Ulta when you walk in there. My brother, um, Mike, is like you. When this was when I was struggling with the ingredient issues, yeah, he's just like, I know you have some over there. I go over there. <laughs> where's your like, stash? Where's some of that? Where's that? Because with his hair, his hair is kind of wavy, mm -hmm. and so he, when his hair's like he towel dries it and he puts it through, it just sculpt, like it just kind of organizes the wave and textures yes. the wave, and he lets without it dry making by it itself. stiff or right. crunchy. He just lets it dry by itself. It's got great style. It's still got the volume to it. And like you said, it doesn't look like he has product in his hair. It's not yeah. stiff. It's not sticky. You can let it dry by itself. So it so. protects your hair. It helps with frizz. It, it helps with it volume. It helps to smooth if you need that. Yeah. Um, oh, again, it helps It helps blow. define, you know, without being crunchy. Susie said, I have very thick, heavy hair. Should I avoid the embellished cream? Hmm. I mean, you have very thick. I mean, heavy I hair. have thick, heavy hair too. I don't know too. what your haircut I mean, is. My but hair I don't is shorter, know why. but I mean, look, look at all this hair. Like that's you guys. That's not just me getting volume from thin hair. That is all hair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, and let me tell um, you, if you, you, I don't know exactly your hair, but even if your hair was heavy and thick, one length to here, mm -hmm. I would be doing this Vitality this because spray. I want to like mm -hmm. comb through it. Yeah. And then this would be my styling product of choice because yes. it's not like I have a foam, right? But the foam is like to go big, right? Yes. And like, yeah. I'm not going to get that out of somebody who has long, you know, right. hair. And even on myself, like I'm not always looking for that, you know? Mm -hmm. um, but I would never not put something on a client yes. ever. I would never take the blow dryer to any client of mine here without something. And sometimes that just means if I have a client that's like, you know, maybe they're just going to blow it straight. It might only be this much. A little bit. Because yeah. it is concentrated. Get it all over my hands and then work it through. Work it through yeah. And then you this might way like when it, I blow Susie. it out, it's like, so pretty. That might, you know, work through your hair. Give it some shine. Mm -hmm. If it's heavy and thick and it's coarse. Oh, and again, just because it's be called a that. cream, it really is almost like a styling serum. Yeah. You know, yeah. like it's a gel cream. It's almost it's like an elixir. Yeah. Do you see like an elixir? Um, I'm playing that in Scrabble next time. <laughs> Got another that X word, <gasps> triple word. But it reminds um, but me it of is. elixir more it than it is. Yeah, because the serum think, sometimes you think yeah. maybe and cream oily. maybe sounds heavy and it's not, yeah, it's not at not all. Bad. And again, I had it. You guys saw how much I oh, had on my I hands. Know, it's not sticky at all. It's it's Nothing. it's there's no residue. I mean, it's like I have cream. It's huh? not greasy on my hands. Look, there's no shine there. Mm -mm. It, it's all I can say is try it. Add it to your, you know, hair care arsenal. 
um, and see what it could do for you. Would you cocktail that with any of your other products? Um, I do. Would I cocktail that with Bounce? No. Um, yes. Well, what I if, do with Bounce sometimes is I put Bounce into the root just so that mm -hmm. I get that little extra. To get a little. Yeah. And then, well, a lot of times I'll put this in first because it's just easier to work in my ends. And then I'll take a little bit of Bounce and I'll go in here. Yeah. And that's when I'm trying to get a little bit more like where I want it to be Fullness. like that. All yes. Day, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like where I want it to be up. Yes. So I do it with that. You can really cocktail that with even the foam because the thing about this is all the thing that's Jill said, like there's so much going on here with protection and strengthening and shine and mm -hmm. all of that on top of the fact that it's a styling product. So a lot of times I'll even, I, it's kind of like I go, boom, I go bop. And then yeah. sometimes if it's like, Oh, I'm going to, a wedding tonight and I want it kind of more. So then I'll stick a little foam or I'll stick a little bounce or whatever yes. and then go in that way. And here's what I love about talking about the um, cocktailing of products. Um, I don't know that I would tell you to do that with this styling cream and another brand's whatever. Uh, yeah, I what I that. know, yeah. like what I think is really important and what I've learned is that if I'm going to mix products, I want to mix them from the same brand I the same way because I know that they'll work together. You know, I mean, like in makeup, use one brand's eyeshadow and use another brand's eyeliner mm -hmm. and another brand's mascara. Who cares? I, I agree with that. But Whatever in skincare, skin. even like I'm a little careful about what I decide to go off brand with. Mm -hmm. Right. I really That's understand what they're supposed to do and are there similar ingredients? What if there are contradicting ingredients and I'm using two things that are kind of canceling each other out, right? Yeah, especially nowadays, because like this also gets activated with heat, like it does even more with mm -hmm. heat. So like if you have a heat activated product, non heat, act like it can get tricky sometimes. Mm -hmm. They can cancel each other out. So you're if right you're going to cocktail, I think, you know, make sure you stay within brand, especially I think for hair care, right? Yeah, I do. Because they'll, they'll complement each other and not fight. Yeah, for sure. Um, do you guys have any in question? Okay. Yeah. Susan says, I have the Vitality Spray, Styling Cream, and the Mousse. Should I put all three in my hair at the same time? And what order do I put them in, Maria? Okay, great. So you are going to use the Vitality Spray on your hair wet first, comb through it, do whatever you want. Then if you want to use both of those, I use personally, I tend to use mousse when I'm going out and want it bigger and bolder. And I use my cream on a more daily basis. Yes. Using them together, I would do that in the case of like on Jill, for instance, we know she loves this for all the reasons you said. Yeah. So that just goes in her hair. Then I might take a little foam and go into her root with it because we're doing something bigger and bolder yeah. that day. Right. So that's how you could use it together. You would go one, two, and then add that extra the foam. foam from the foam. Yeah. yeah. I hope that helps, Susan. Yeah. Otherwise, um, I love like, to me, styling products are like my shoes, right? Like, so today I'm doing this. And yes. tomorrow I might want to do, do that. Or yeah. tonight I might want to do that. Yeah. So um, I cocktail sometimes, but. If I cocktail, I usually cocktail the cloud cream and the foam. Oh, okay. Together, oh, yeah? which basically kind of gave me this <laughs> when you didn't have this. That's right. Um, was, so yeah, I use those two together because it helps give me a little bit of volume, but the lightness of the foam so that I can break my hair out. Right. 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 Um, again, if you don't, the you, bounce cream's a little more like let's go. Yeah. Like, there's right. A lot of texture right. That. Yeah. Yeah. This is a little bit softer but kind of gives me those, gives me those things too. Right. Um, should we see, well, should we answer some questions? Yeah, let's see. All right. Here's Mary. I'm confused what I need. Okay. I just got my first mm. perm in 40 years and love it. Nice. I use the shampoo, but the cream rinse makes my hair too soft. Totally get okay. that Mary. Cause conditioners do that to my hair too. Okay. So I need a light leave in so I can still enjoy my curl suggestion, please. Oh, vitality. The, I think this styling this combo, product for sure. Yeah, right? exactly. Like Mary, maybe you do vitality spray in the styling cream because this styling cream will be just that lightweight right. bit of hydration. And frankly, I don't use a conditioner. Right. Once in a blue moon, if I feel like, oh, let me just do like a little hair mask. Um, I usually use yeah. the, um, the, what is it called? Mend? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, but really, of the juice duo, I hardly ever use the conditioner. I'm telling you, but I just for my wanna, hair. I don't. But I use this her, instead. Yeah. I I use this instead because this gives me say. a little hydration um, while it styles at the same time. So if she was in my chair, that's why I said that. But if you can only get one tonight, you know what yes, I mean? Like yes, it would be this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, because yeah, this is has enough in it to help 
treat your hair. It's, it's protecting your hair. It's yeah. it has the sunblock and yeah. like all that stuff. But don't you think that's a good duo? Uh, for I, her? I mean, I live by this. And here's the thing, especially if somebody who really the conditioning doesn't work for you, but you kind of need to do yes. things to yes. make sure your hair's as Stay strong soft. as it can be, you yeah. know, and shiny and all that good stuff and frizz free. Cause you don't have any of that happening so much. I mean, you do have it happening in the shampoo, but it's more in the conditioner, obviously. Yeah. So now you're missing this all over. There's going to be no weight to your hair at all. Yeah. You do never feel this in your hair, but you're just feeding it with all of those incredible vitamin. I mean, that's why I called it vitality spray. Like it really brings the vitality yeah. to your hair. Yeah. So I hope that helps Mary. Yes, Does that, I, hope. I hope that answered your yeah. question. It does um, get confusing. And once you get it though, um, when you get your little recipe for your hair, yeah, and that's like a good shampoo and conditioner, a good product that you're putting on wet, wet mm -hmm. you know what I mean? The tool that you style with, if you use a dry styling product in your hairspray, like, and, and this is what I find, and this is what we do in the salon. A lot of times my clients will be like, why doesn't my hair look like that at home? Because usually at home, we skip a step. Usually at mm -hmm. home, we're like, I'm not putting five things on, right? Right. And the thing of it is, is when you get these, they last a long time because you saw how much Jill and I are doing. Yeah. Like you don't use a lot because you're building like they, it's like building a house. Like, you know what I mean? Like yeah. you have to do all of those things. You have to put the base in, you have to, you know? Yeah. So you're, but you're not using a lot of everything. So it lasts a long time, but your style is going to last even longer. Yeah. Instead of shampoo and condition your hair, styling it with no product in it. Now trying to put a tool in, to get it going and then just trying to lock that in with a hairspray when you don't have the base yeah really supporting it yeah you know yeah you know right because i've taught you oh my gosh 100%. you're in 100% agree, oh 100% right? okay. yes yeah and Am finding the right way? products for your hair and you know that's why i was like for so long i'm like i like how do i do my hair now without this product i had to try so many different things and guess what i did and then this came back and i'm back to this because this is what I really liked the best. So and me too. I mean, I really. It's a great product. Yeah, it's, it's a great day day. product. Great product. Great product. Great treatment. Great smoothing. Great protection. Great, you know. Um, again, a, a little bit of conditioning. Great breaking it up. Like it's just, yeah. It's just a great, great product. It's kind of like um, what's the word that I? It's like, and it was called Achieve Ten originally because it did ten different things for yeah, your hair. Right. Exactly. Yeah, right. And it's kind of like a chameleon product. Like I, I, I both Jill and I used it today. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Oh it, yeah. I use it and we couldn't have more opposite hair. Yeah. You know, true. like yep. it is a chameleon. And when I, you know, you know, Amanda, the model that I use, she has really yeah, short hair, hair mm -hmm. but now it's like Bob, she grew out from her pixie and it's mm -hmm. more like mine. The first time when this was finally back, she had never used it because she's like new to the brand. Yeah. And she didn't have a cheat. Um, and I put in her hair, I blew her hair out. And she was just like, what did you just use on my hair? Yeah, it looks like I have twice as much hair. Mm -hmm. So interesting how if Jill got twice as much hair, she'd be like, yeah. what did you use on my yeah. hair? Get yeah. it out. Right. You know what I right. mean? Right. She doesn't want any more hair. Yeah. But it kind of chameleons to what you need. Yeah. It like customizes itself to what to yeah. whatever your hair needs. Yeah. Um, all right. It does 10 things. Any other right. questions on the oh, styling products because we're going to talk Thanks, about Mary. the perfector coming up next so yeah um i'm going to do a quick little learning so much which i'm so happy that good you're hi that. mariana and mary said she yeah. got them so i'm happy oh good about mary that. so good um but i just wanted to say one thing about the one question i get a lot about shampoos just to backtrack a little bit is like there's a wives tip or i don't know a myth or whatever you want to call those things that you shouldn't shampoo every day and that's not true yeah that isn't true like that's okay. that's um you shampoo as much as you need to shampoo your hair. I shampoo every day. And then sometimes twice if I'm having a show at night. Yeah. That wives tale comes from back in the day. Shampoos were so, so harsh. harsh. Yeah. And they would strip your color mm -hmm. because they were basically the sulfate that you use in your palm olive. So that's right. why that has always been said. Yeah. Shampoos are not made like that. that now, if you're yeah. still using not such a great shampoo, don't shampoo every day. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I want to, I see Debbie left a comment and I just wanted to say to that real quick. She said, I've used the embellish that you clap. Yes. But it makes my hair gummy. Oh, um, I have straight, straight thick, thick hair. hair. Should I use that embellish cream? Well, I, I have a thought here. Can I share yeah, my thought? I I okay. So here are my two thoughts for you. First of all, Debbie, um, straight, thick hair, if embellish, just embellish wasn't the right product for you. Mm -hmm. Um, and you're probably using too much. 
would be my second thing, right? right? If it's kind of gummy, you're probably using too much. But again, if your hair is thick and straight, that is not the right product for you. Maybe look at the O2, right? Yes. Like some of those oh, types of sure. products, for right? Sure. Stratosphere yeah. and stuff. Mm -hmm. But as far as a product to put on your wet hair, Again, yes. I mean, I'm Lovely. I'm sort of thinking here. Yeah, I'm wondering to how long use the hair vitality is spray and then use the embellish cream. Again, this is not necessarily going to be a styling product when your hair is dry, but when you put it on your hair, run it through your hair, and then blow it dry, mm -hmm. you might only need to use then hairspray when you're done, which is kind of where I am a lot when I mm -hmm. have this product. Yes. So, um, and I just wanted to say about the embellish because I don't know. You said you had thick, straight hair. If it's all one length, like embellish is all about adding texture to the hair. Mm. If there's no texture in the cut at all, it's going to be hard to, to You're make not gonna it happen. Get the results. Yeah. But someone like if I have somebody with thick straight hair and we're she's we're doing an event <clears> and I <throat> curl it all and I have curls in there, then I'll use a pea size amount of the embellish. I'll clap a lot and I do run it through because otherwise it just slips out. Like if I don't mm -hmm. change the texture of that hair, yeah. that curl just wants to go away. Yeah. So if it is making your hair gummy, I will say you're definitely using too much. I mean, embellishes the tiniest bit, really rub it, mm -hmm. clap it, rub yeah. it and go in. Yeah. Um, but I just want to say that in case I don't and know using exactly it your hair. under your hair, mm -hmm. not this, Yeah. right? That's another mistake people use with the embellish is they're like, oh my gosh, but you know what? You want to get under in the, root, in the hair, the right? Lift. And move it around and then pull it out from there. Right. Uh, that uh, Whenever somebody says, oh my God, the embellish got really gummy. I, I It's it's in the application yeah. at that point. Because yeah. you know, you yes. use it. Yeah. And it would be gummy yeah. if it's not used. Oh my right? gosh, 100%. Like I mean, there, have been there were times where we would do demonstrations on QVC. Bigger. Did you notice? I know. <laughs> Um, there were times we would do demonstrations on QVC and I would, you know, it was, the pump was so oh, yeah. primed that I would do that and I would think, Oh uh -oh, boy. No, I can make it look good on air, but let me tell you, as soon as I got off the air, I was like, that was way product. too much product for me. Mm -hmm. Um, all right, let's talk okay. about tools real quickly Yay. too. Um, and these are the perfectors, um, outside of a hairdryer. This is really the only heated tool one. that I will use. There are three sizes. So we have the one inch, which is in this pretty rose gold. Then we have the three quarter inch. It refers to the size of the barrel and the half inch. And it's that's done in this kind of blue marble. How do I know which size I need, Maria? Okay, so rule of thumb, if you've never <clears> had a perfecter <throat> before, if you have a pixie cut, a short haircut, right? So we're talking like ears kind of up type yeah. of thing, your length, you know? Yeah. You're going with half inch. Anything around my length, anywhere in that shoulder length, you're going with three quarter and then below your shoulders, you're going with the one inch. Okay. It's that easy. So really like this is perfect for Jill. Yeah. Now, granted, if you have one already, if Jill uses this, she's going to get curl. If Jill uses this, she's just going to get volume. Yes, volume. Right. right. Yeah. So, so in my hair, I can use all three. I, If you notice what I just did, I did this because the way my hair is right now, it's like these waves. So I'm just doing the little um, half inch. I love the little half inch for this. I just take little sections and I just spin these waves in for this little bit more. If you notice, it's a much curlier look. You see yes. that? Mm -hmm. If I do the three quarter, I'll do it on this side. And ideally, you're not doing this on hair that has hairspray and all those kind of things. Yeah. If you have yeah. hairspray on second day, just brush through it first yeah. to break it up a little bit. And then when you get your section, I like to comb through it a couple times to make sure that hairspray is broken up. But if I do the three quarter, you're going to see over here where it's going to be just a bigger wave. Nice. You know, so a little bit a looser, much softer right? wave. Yes. And then when I do the one inch on my hair, it's just more of a blowout look. Yes. Got so it. I kind of have girl curl with this guy. I have waves with this three quarter. Mm -hmm. And then the one inch just gives me a blowout. Love it. You know, so that, you know, just gives you an idea. And so I've had girls with hair longer than their shoulders that use three quarter now because they're going for this kind of look on their longer mm -hmm. hair. So they know how to use it well. So they use the three quarter the same way you start at the top and you work your way down and you just get, you know, that really great little perfect curl every single time. Yeah. The thing that makes it so different is these top quality nylon teeth. Like it just gives this natural 
like lived in curl as yeah. opposed to like a stiff curl of a curling iron? I was going to say, it's not like a curling iron. You know, it's yeah. not a smooth round barrel, right? Yeah. Um, this has teeth, but it's, or I guess bristles, right? Yeah. But it's not really a heated brush either. No, it's different. Yeah. And it's very unique. Now, it's also not a metal barrel. Yes. So what's so huge about that one, the teeth don't heat. So and you're it's on. all of them See? are on. So we're not Yeah. You can't, you just saw me curl my hair with it, but I can't burn anything. Yep. And so I had a um, somebody today, she's, she's 62, I think. Very fine hair, highlighted, had a little damage to it. And at the end, I did say to her, because she uses all my tools. And I said, what have you been using lately? She's like, well, I'm using them all by, you know, Perfector, blah, blah, blah. And I said, I want you to use the Perfector until we see you again, because I know the Perfector will never damage. Yeah. You can use it over, over, over. It's not a metal bower. It's not, the metal barrels tend to evaporate the moisture in our hair. Evaporate yes. The hot, That's why the you, oils. how many times have you used like something and seen the steam? Yeah. Right. From yeah. your hair. Like yeah. you don't see that with the, no. with the Perfector. No. So, I mean, the only time you would see steam if you had product in your hair and it's steaming yes, off. Right. Which, but yes, exactly. And so, you know, if you have sensitive hair like mine, I mean, my hair is prone to damage. So the perfector is that one tool I can use over and over. I just curled that piece four times. Yeah. I, if you put a curling iron in that front piece four times. Yeah. It would It'd tomorrow be my break. Yeah. yeah exactly. Right. Right. You know? And you know, when I really came to love this product. And you see the shine. Um, it's going more and more shiny. June, give me one second and we'll answer your question. Because if I don't say this, I'll forget. Um, when I was growing my hair out, when you're going to change your hair, maybe you've always worn it short and you're wearing it a little longer. Maybe you had a layered bob and now you want it to be all one length, like whatever. That's when I really loved the Perfector because it allowed me to do things with my hair to help me get through those grow out times, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, sometimes, you know, I would do something wavy. Sometimes I just needed to smooth some frizz. Sometimes I needed volume, you know, back here. Um, you know, sometimes I needed help really kicking out some of these pieces. The for Perfector allowed me to do all of all those that, things, no matter what stage I was in. And it's your hair. hair without burning your exactly scalp. yes. Um, all right. So June, your question was: I'm looking for more smoothing, not curl. So will the three quarter still work, June? If you could let us know your hair length. Yeah. How your long hair is your hair? Is my length, I, you know, or longer. I would go with the one inch. But yes, if your hair is shorter, like Jill's, mm -hmm. the three quarters for you. Yeah, perfect. Because think about it. If your hair is, let's say your hair is two inches long on top, it would go around the one inch barrel like one and a half times. So you would only be getting smooth volume. Mm -hmm. Yes. But if your hair is, you know, only an inch and a half, two inches long, like three quarter. Because yeah. Jill's hair right here, what are we going to say, Jill? Maybe a two inches? Mm -hmm. Maybe two inches, right? June says she has a short bob. Like me? Like my bob? We'll wait till she answers yeah. back. Yeah. Um, but Jill's hair up here is, I'm going around the three quarters. It's getting around there about an inch and a half. Mm -hmm. So what's going to happen is I just have movement and lift. Yep. Now, if I put this one, this little guy in. It'll be a tight curl. Right. Yeah. And do you ever use the one inch at this point? This bigger one? Yeah, it's too mm -mm. big, right? No, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. For this haircut, no. Because okay, it's good. the, the pieces yeah, is now. just too short. I mean, you've yeah. been longer and maybe. Yes, you know, yeah. Like, when my hair whatever. was, you know, for a while, my hair was down to here, you know, yeah. which for me is long. And it still had layers in it, but I wanted to wave it or I wanted to smooth yeah. it, right? I needed to tame some of the volume, frankly, because I had so much mass, right? So right. for me, the one worked. But with this haircut, the three quarter is probably what I would use most of the time because I don't like too tight of a curl either. Right. Like I, I, I like having lots of texture right. that's soft. So June says layer a little, a little shorter, shorter than So probably yours. the three quarter is good for her. Do you think? Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So think about it this way, June, three quarter inch. So if your hair's like, if your hair is, if there's a lot of sections that are three inches or longer and you just want to smooth your hair, I would go with the one inch mm -hmm. only because three, if your hair is like three inches, it's going to go around that one inch two times mm -hmm. and that'll just do a nice smooth. Yeah. But if you're only in the two inch area, two inches long, if you pull your hair out, it's like two to three at most, like the three quarter would be, fine. be good. Um, and just so you know, the half inch and the three quarter inch are done with this kind of blue marble look. 
And if you do buy the one inch barrel, that's done in the rose gold look. And they're all on sale right now. All the perfectors are on sale. One thing also that you should know when you get it at home and you turn it on for the first oh, yeah. time, okay? It's not a tap the on button and it turns on. You have to hold the button for a couple of seconds. Did you see the blue light come on? And then it turns on. It automatically turns on to 365. You can make it hotter up to 395. You can take it down to 325. To 325 and, and anywhere in between. And then if you push that power button twice, it locks that temperature. Great. So if you're doing things, you won't have yeah, to worry so you about your worry thumb. About yeah. yeah. And then to turn it off, you hold the off button for three seconds and it turns off. And a couple other things. It, it's, it is dual voltage if you want to take it with you. It is... Um, it has a smart technology and in an hour it's just going to shut off on its own auto off. you left it off great. left it on that's great um 325 is if your hair is kind of damaged or dry or very sensitive or you're using it on a wig okay. that's when you're going to be at the 325 most of us are using it at 365 375 395 395 and 395 is such a safe heat so yes. you can do yeah. i do 395 yeah. a lot too because i think it smooths yeah. it and stuff my hair is again it can be a little resistant um, you so know, definitely so, 395. You know, I, I hold it there to make sure it really gets it and then it, yes. it does great. That's yeah. the key with it too. Like, like mine's already curled, so I don't have to help. But if my hair was not at all curled right now, like I do a spin one, two, three, four, five to the ends. One, two, three, four, five. That is the biggest mistake I see. With yeah, the people try to like, use it too just fast. like a brush and they brush yeah, they're it. like, like oh, okay, I wait, it it's not curling. So you oh. have to like let the heat and the the tool do its thing. Excuse Can me. we talk about the QR code? Oh, yeah, do that. So there's a QR code right on your tool. You'll take your phone and you hold the camera of your phone up to it. You'll see a little yellow box hit it. And then what happens is I am right on your phone, like your virtual stylus, and I'll walk you through. You'll pick your hair like they'll be like a short, medium, and long. You can see them all if you want. But there's trips, tricks and tips of all links and nice. really how to do it. And, and we really walk through it. So, you know, when you get it home, you're going to have me there with you, giving you ideas of how to use it and different techniques to use it and even the basics. Yeah. Um, one last thing to think about before we let you go. Um, we're heading into wedding season. I know I was just at a wedding over the weekend. Wedding season. So are you the mother of the bride, the grandmother of the bride or groom? Are you going to a wedding? You want your hair to look great. Is it your granddaughter who's getting married and, you know, she doesn't have the budget to have somebody come and do her hair. Like she needs the right tool. The, this is going to be awesome for her. Graduations are coming up. This makes a great graduation gift, but it also is nice to make sure that you feel like you're looking your best when you're going to those graduation ceremonies. Yeah. Um, not that that's on my mind or yours, <laughs> right? Um, her youngest is graduating from college. Sure. Mine is graduating from high school. Um, so think about those things. You know, yeah. listen, I don't know anybody who feels good when they're having a bad hair day, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, if I don't love my that outfit, means. I can still make do, right? If I'm not really wearing a lot of makeup, I'm good. But if my hair isn't good, um, again, that doesn't mean fancy. It's just like not Done. working. Like everybody, yeah. that's all you think about. Every time you walk by a mirror, you're like checking Ugh. it. So let's have good hair days, right? Let's get your hair healthy. Let's get it shiny. Let's get it soft. And hopefully all the things we've brought you tonight Super will stylish. help you do that. Yeah. Um, check out our whole assortment of Callista products over at JustJillShop.com. We have great sale prices going on right now. Don't forget, throughout our anniversary month, there's more things to take advantage of. So do check those out and take a look at our new website at justjillshop.com. We revamped it. It's kind of it's like kind of grown up now. Um, and thank you again to Maria for Yay. spending all this and time. And I want to say thank tonight. you to all you guys, Cindy and Janet and Marianne. They're all like popping all the up comments, saying good information. Yeah, yeah, it's good awesome. Information. So thank you for being here with us. All right. Have a good night, everybody. We'll see Bye. you soon. Bye.